Stephanie. I'm here with Shalina Robinson, and she did the nails for our July cover. Welcome. Thank you. She was in town for the ISSE show, so we thought we'd snag her a couple days before and bring her in and have her do the nails. So tell us what you did. How did you begin? First of all, I think it's important to always remember that the nails are the focus on the cover and so that your work needs to be a little bit extra, more detailed. And I started off with a clear tip and applied those and blended them in and then put a very thin layer of clear liquid and powder over the, the top of those to seal it. Is there any tips for applying clear tips or working with clear tips to make sure they don't get cloudy? Uh, that's a great question, yes. There is um, several tips I would want to point out when using a clear tip, especially if you're leaving that clear extension edge. You want to make sure that you use only a small amount of adhesive so it doesn't seep out underneath and create a cloudiness, as well as being really careful when you're using um, nail dehydrators that can cause the tip to kind of go foggy and cloudy as well. After the acrylic set, you added white enamel. Yes, we started off with a white enamel with a little bit of sparkle to it, and I painted that into the nail bed area, kind of extending her nail beds out and creating kind of a deep, false smile line for her nail bed. Did you do that all by hand, or did you go back and clean it up to make sure you had a nice smile on? I, I try to paint it on by hand as perfect as possible, but then again, when you do make a mistake, it's really easy to go back and correct with a detailed brush and a little tiny bit of, of a solvent that will help wipe away the polish. And then we custom blended a color, t trying to go for a nice uh, summer-like feel, and we were kind of trying to go for the cloud effect, so we blended a custom color and we mixed it with a clear base coat and used it in kind of a swirling motion as we applied it, using a thicker, heavier pigment at the cuticle area and kind of tapering out a little bit lighter as we got closer to the extension edge. When you're custom mixing polishes, do you have any tips on how to control the color so you don't end up with a muddy mess? Absolutely. Um, we always recommend, no matter what, starting out with like the lightest color first. So if you're using a white as a base to make a pastel, you would want to start with your white and gradually add very, very small amounts of your color so that you can control the amount of pigment that you end up with. It's much easier to go darker than it is to go lighter. And then just keep in mind that the more colors you add, the more likely you are to get a muddy mess. So a little bit at a time and just try to keep it to two or three colors. Should you use extra enamel at the cuticle so you have enough to drag through the rest of the nail or does it matter? Well, the nice thing about this technique is that, yes, I started with using some of the custom blended color on its own and just dabbing it at the cuticle area. And I had mixed a little bit of that custom color into the clear as well. So then when I went to apply it, it gave it that kind of textured cloud-like look, but you can always go back and just add a little bit more color wherever you need it. It's very forgiving. Once the polish was dry, did you go back in with a top coat? I did. I top coated uh, both the, the top surface and the underside of the tip as well. That way if you do have any like slight shading or marbling from either a nail dehydrator or um, a little bit of adhesive, it kind of hides that, masks it a little bit so you can seal it all in and make it really super shiny and crystal clear on the tip. Well, thank you so much for coming in a little bit early so you could come and do the cover for us. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a lot of fun, and I recommend that anybody who's interested in it submit some work and try it themselves. It's, it takes everything to a whole new level, I think. Absolutely. Thank you so much.